uh, you know, there were there were some reports last night and this morning about Luca perhaps being sick. Can you address those? Yeah, I, he's fine. Um, to my knowledge, he was good this morning. Uh, he was good this afternoon. So I don't I don't know if he was sick or not sick, but uh, I think he's he's doing fine. Uh, and then also you said yesterday that you were happy with the shots you got. Uh, I wondered uh, in terms of, uh, do you think that you got enough rim attacks? Um, you got a lot of open threes, but do you think, do you think you got to the rim often enough? Yeah, we, we didn't uh, get to the rim enough. Um, they did a great job of protecting the paint. Um, and so we, we have to be aggressive, um, but we did get great looks. Um, in that first half, they just didn't go down. And so if we get those same looks here in two halves, uh, hopefully we can make some. And uh, if we can make some, then that puts us in a better seat. Jason, by and large, the uh, rebounding for you guys has not been particularly sharp in the, in the playoffs. Why, why has that been such a constant problem? Small. S small ball. And we, we, you know, if, when you say the overall playoffs, we, we did start off without Luca, who was our best rebounder. Um, so, uh, but just being small, you know, sometimes we, we'll give up the rebound um, to take advantage of the offensive side. But when we do win, we do rebound the ball and we have to do a better job of that. We didn't, we didn't rebound the ball well here in game one. Jason, you, you've been with uh, over here. You've been with uh, Luca for a full season and some playoffs now. What uh, what sense do you get about how he approaches things after he's had a rough game as he had the other night? Um, does he get quiet? Does he get? Is he relaxed? Does he? Um, how does he? What's his demeanor? You know, the, in the days that follow, like what's your your read of him? Yeah, I think um, he stays in in character. He doesn't. He doesn't get down. Uh, he doesn't go too low. He doesn't go too high. He just understands it was one game, um, and and he pushes forward. Um, and I would say, um, not knowing the exact number or percentage, that the the bounce ball game he normally he plays at a high level, and he he puts his team in a position to win. Um, so um, he he you know not playing to his standards in game one. Um, I would believe that he's going to come back and and have a better game too. Jason, in a series like this that you all expect to take, you know, several, several games, what's the value of time when it comes to Luca? Like, is there, he said it was to the point where it reminded him in the Charlotte game that there was just different defenses constantly. Does the value of time give him the ability to kind of see all the defensive possibilities and be able to break those down as the series go? Or are there enough possibilities that it could keep him off balance for a while, if that makes sense? Yeah, um, the Warriors are great at not having to call a timeout to change your defense. But uh, Luca's a, a, a different beast. And um, once he sees it, once he understands what he has to do. Um, and, and so um, the boxing one, uh, the zone uh, didn't really affect him. He just didn't make shots, and we had turnovers. That was the other thing. We got to take care of the ball because the Warriors, once you turn the ball over, they're gone. And a lot of times it's an open three. Um, but Steph made a couple layups there with the turnovers. But uh, they take advantage. They took advantage of our turnovers and us not getting back in transition. So, um, But for Luca, he, he's great at understanding what they're trying to do, and uh, he can move the pieces on the go, and uh, he's had success this season doing that. Kevin, go ahead. Jason, when you look at the first game and obviously the ball movement and the player movement that the Warriors are known for, does it take a while to get adjusted to that given the way that they like to move with and without the basketball and what the speed of the game looks like for them on the offensive end? How does that look adjusting going into game two tonight? Yeah, well, we got to see it up close in game one. It, you know, Steph is the best conditioned athlete in this game, and um, he never stops moving. Clay's right there with him. Um, and they understand they've played together for a while, you know, when you look at Draymond as the quarterback. So they, they're they constantly moving, and this is a different um, situation than Utah or, or Phoenix, and we have to make those adjustments uh, to their speed uh, offensively. 
Um, but, you know, defensively, we we got, you know, we got to put a little bit more pressure and a little bit more into the game if we want any chance of winning. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.